guys, it's me, the stupendous stupendous with my mighty pen ultimate. Don't forget to subscribe for some awesome adventures. See you then. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate. Today's adventure reaches new heights, like mountain sized heights. You'll see. I can't believe we get to go visit Mount Rushmore for spring break. Wow! Cool! And it's in the middle of a national park, which gets so colorful in the spring. Those four giant heads are awesome! <laughs> How giant? Are they gonna talk to us? Don't worry, Robbie. They're just sculptures. I wonder who drew them. Well, you see, it was designed by a sculptor named uh, Kutzan Borglum. They started building it in 1927 and didn't finish till 1941. Well, that was over 15 years later. Now look out the window because here they come. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, people, can you name all four presidents on Mount Rushmore? George Washington, obviously. He was the first president. He chopped down a cherry tree and he couldn't tell a lie. Although nobody knows if that story is true or not. I know Abraham Lincoln. He got us through the Civil War. And he also liked to wrestle. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson was the third president of the United States. And he helped popularize ice cream by serving it in the White House. And Theodore Roosevelt was the 26th president. And teddy bears were named after him. Okay, pay attention during this trip, everybody. There's gonna be a huge test when you get back to school next week. A test? We have to study during vacation? What do you expect? You go to cruel school. I don't have time to learn about four different presidents. Time to get to work. Did you know that originally the plan was to make all the statues go from the president's head uh, down to the waist? But they ran out of money before they could build it all. Um, are you sure they were even able to finish the heads? <laughs> What's going on up there? No presidents, no tests. <laughs> Let me get a closer look with some super cool binoculars. Just as I thought. Oh no, is it Ray? You've got to stop him, Drew. Way ahead of you, Robbie. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drewpendus. I've got to get all the way up there, and it is spring break. So I'll spring into action. Too late, Drew. I've turned Mount Rushmore into Mount Rush Less. Now there can't be a test. No problem. I'll just redraw all four presidents. Oh, yeah? Do you remember what they look like? Of course. Everyone knows what George Washington looks like, and Abe Lincoln was wearing a hat. I think. Hmm. Was Thomas Jefferson the third head? Did he have a mustache? And head number four was, um... Theodore Roosevelt! Huh? Theodore Roosevelt! Oh yeah, and Theodore Roosevelt! Ugh, why are there so many presidents? And they're all important. Well, maybe William Henry Harrison was less important. He was only president for 30 days. Well, who cares? You still can't remember what they look like. Luckily, I don't have to. Time for some time travel. And that's when Drew went on a tour of presidential history. Welcome to Mount Rushmore. Now, just stand over there. President Washington, toes up your chin a little. President Jefferson, please turn a little to the left. Make sure you capture my good side. Whatever, those heads need to be huge. There's no way you'll be able to finish rebuilding it by the time you have to leave. Oh, I made some other friends while I was traveling through time. Rodan, Picasso, Michelangelo, Donatello. Aw, no Leonardo and Raphael, bummer. Who are all these guys? You don't know, Ray? These are some of the most famous artists and sculptors throughout history, and they're gonna help sculpt this mountain. Get to work, fellas. Hey, you got it, Drew. Err. Uh, Maybe you should stick to Mount Rushmore's original designer, Gutzen Borglum. That's right. He did a pretty good job with the original. Probably could have used a little more color, but that's just me. <sighs> Be right back. Welcome to Mount Rushmore, Mr. Borglum. 
Um, this isn't what I had in mind. Yeah, sorry about that. Let's start from scratch. So Drew erased the mountain and they started again. Goots on Borglum's original design. And soon enough, Mount Rushmore looked like Mount Rushmore. Thanks a lot, everybody. Nice try, Ray. But not only will you be tested on those four presidents, you also have to write a report on all those famous artists. I can't believe you don't know Michelangelo. The Ninja Turtle? Ah! Thanks a lot, Drew. I just wish I had my signature hat. You got it. And that's how Drew saved Mount Rushmore. Moral of the story, kids. It's not cool to mess with Mount Rushmore and learn about your presidents and your artists because Michelangelo wasn't just a Ninja Turtle, he was also an artist. <laughs>